In Lodi, California, where one-fifth of California's wine grapes are grown, five farmers, two scientists, and industry members came together to demonstrate the benefits of mealybug biocontrol in vineyards as part of a Western Sayre grant project. The vine mealybug is an invasive insect that was unfortunately smuggled into California on suitcase vines. Dispersing from the Coatella Valley, the vine mealybug has become a true problem now that we know that it spreads viruses such as leaf roll virus and vitiviruses. Sometimes when a vine is infected with one or both of these viruses, it can lead to very reduced quality of wine grapes. It can lead to reduced yields. And when both viruses are infecting a vine at the same time on certain rootstocks, it can lead to the entire vine collapsing. And farmers across California are seeing whole patches of their vineyards collapse due to these viruses, which are spread by the vine mealybug. Here in Lodi, Mealybug is just about everywhere. I scout about 3,000 acres of fields and there's pretty much not a field that I haven't been able to find mealybug in. So in my own words, the vine mealybug is California's most important insect pest. It's the most damaging as far as the fact that it's a vector of leaf roll disease. The virus that we're most concerned about in this area is leaf roll 3, but we're also finding out that some of the vitaviruses a, B, bit of virus F, is also vectored by vine mealybug. And that's where we're finding also that the combination of leaf roll three with the bit of viruses is a combination that may be leading to the sudden vine collapse that we're seeing in the area. Biocontrol really makes the vineyard exciting again. Having biocontrol as one of your vineyard management practice makes a lot of sense to me personally because you're using all these chemicals and all these different insects are gaining resistance to these chemicals. They're not as uh, effective. And when you use biocontrol, it's pretty hard to build up a resistance to something that's eating you. So we have two beneficial insects that attack mealybug. The first is a parasitic wasp. It's not like a wasp that anybody would recognize. It's microscopic. It lays its eggs inside any stage of the mealybug except for the egg. It's, it actually punctures the body, lays its eggs inside. That egg then hatches inside the body cavity of the mealybug. The young feeds on the inside of the, of the mealybug and hatches out, kind of like Aliens, the movie where it just comes gushing out of the person. The second insect is called the mealybug destroyer. Its scientific name is Cryptolemus. They will consume 30 to 40, even up to 50 mealybugs in a day. And the cool thing about them is that they're camouflaged from the mealybug and camouflaged from the mealybug protectors, the ants. They look like a mealybug larvae. And so the combination of those two, the parasitic wasp and the mealybug destroyer, um, are very effective beneficial insects in a vineyard like this and in any vineyard. And we're using them because they can help bring the, popu the overall population of mealybug down without the requirement of pesticides, which in turn lengthens the time that a pesticide is useful, meaning the longevity of it, how, how many years we can use it, because the mealybugs aren't building up resistance to those chemistries. So you've got conventional growers that are benefiting from these beneficial insects, and you've got organic growers that are benefiting from these beneficial insects. The thing that I think really raises our enthusiasm at first and helps us understand it is to be able to go out with someone who can identify both the good and bad pests that are already in your vineyard. I think that really opens a whole new world like it does for the children. I started using pheromone disruption about six years ago in our uh, Beck Tolson Sew block. Since we've been doing it, we've been using the tags. First two years, I saw a little reduction, not much three years, saw a lot more reduction in the mealybug population, and by year six, it's really not much of an issue now. That's the benefit of the pheromone in the field, to try to eliminate those secondary spreads of infection because of mealybug, that you have that single landing of a mealybug and it stays just as a female mealybug, not laying eggs and not creating that whole secondary infection of virus out there. What one farmer does on his or her vineyard 
definitely affects their neighbors' vineyards. If we can get more farmers to cooperatively use mealybug biocontrol in their vineyards, beneficial insects and pheromone mating disruption, then we all have a better chance of reducing viruses across our state and producing higher quality grapes and higher quality wine. A year ago, I wasn't really sure that there was mating disruption and I did some Google searches on it and finally was able during one of our um, Western SAR meetings to ask Chris Storm about mating disruption, even just like who the supplier is and how do you put it out. And, and so we were able to order some and we have it out for the last four months of the year and then we'll be putting it out again at the beginning of the growing season. It'll be more effective apparently in the spring when we can also be putting out the other biocontrols. But they are pretty easy to put out and for a small winery with a tasting room, they're very noticeable with the green tag. So they're a great way for our staff to also introduce sustainable farming. These mealybugs continually are probably blown in by wind or by birds' equipment, somehow get into your field. It can be little, tiny, just salt and pepper infections throughout the field. The first thing is to get the virus out of the field. The second thing is to control the vector being the mealybug. Having a region-wide communication about the mealybug problem is very beneficial. So that way we're all on board. We're all doing similar practices. We're all rotating the pesticides that we're using. We're all either using pheromone disruption or we're doing regional-wide um, biocontrol release, um, beneficial insect release. Uh, it just makes sense. You guys ready? So we had a family field day here in Lodi to help introduce biocontrol, any gentler farming, get people interested, but also to introduce it to the children. And the kids are the ones that are so fired up. They don't really realize the implications for the earth and they do love the drones and they do love looking at the bugs. And there's a lot of stuff to do. And I just think it gets families involved in talking about biocontrol and not just the conventional farming. The economics is it's a little bit more expensive, but what I have found is that the consumer is willing to support that additional effort in the vineyard. Uh, people are very concerned about what they're eating and drinking, as we all know, and this really helps fit into that program. And it's also just better for our total environment. I mean, my kids out here are pruning. They used to eat the grapes out here when they were two and three years old. They've grown up with this vineyard and other generations will as well. Thank you, Western Sarah! I haven't seen any of the mini bug destroyers in the vines that I've seen here. Can I go away now? Yes, you did. Okay. Right. <laughs>